inspired you to create Caffeine on the Ground? What gave you that? What, what inspired you to create it? I think the better question would be to ask me what inspired me to create Caffeine. Caffeine. Which was somewhere between an intense love of coffee and a desire to create a community for people to, to be able to be a part of. What, what surprised you the most after you opened Caffeine on the Ground? How quickly people took to it and how much they've seemed to love it since we've been here. Um, the hospitality also in this town particularly actually really surprised me and I'm not even saying that to sound like a complaint or trite, I'm quite serious. <laughs> it was uh, people would like just randomly walk up and try to help you. Is, is this your first location? Was there another place you had an idea for before here? Um, we looked at several. This is the first one that really spoke to us. There, there was a couple other really close calls. There was a couple other spots that we were very close to being interested in. In fact, I think we probably would have ended up on Main Street and not with the whole underground concept if it hadn't been for just, you know, the way, uh, Destiny sort of worked out with it. That one spot ended up right then. We kept looking. We found this spot, and I walked in, and <clears throat> we just kind of said, "Yep, this is going to be it." Awesome. Uh, how did you create the name for Caffeine to the Ground? Uh, in two thousand and one, in September, I had briefly operated a coffee shop in Daytona Beach, Florida, and we were debating on renaming the coffee shop. And a friend of mine suggested naming the coffee shop Caffeine, and then my then girlfriend said, "Well, like, how about like making it past tense, uh, which still was not quite the name." And I said, "No." I said, "I want to make it a play on words. It'll be Caffeine, like a fiend for caffeine." And then everybody was like, "Oh my God, Matt, that's amazing!" And um, what I did is then I. Uh, I poor man was copyrighted it for a number of years, and then um, and opened a shop in Asheville in 2007 with the name. And then shortly ago, uh, we actually just received the paperwork back and now own the trademark in the name it's Caffeine. So I've owned the name since 01, but now according to the federal government, I do as well. <laughs> oh, sweet. All right. And last one is what is what is the fun and the hard parts of being an owner of a cat of a cafe? Often they're the same thing, but um, the fun parts can be the people, the challenging parts can be the people. Um, but the fun part for me is trying to, is meeting all the people, getting to make the coffee for them, coming up with recipes, creating ideas, um, making improvements is a lot of fun. The hard part is a fun, the funding those improvements, keeping the place going. Um, you know, every day is a is, is, you know, struggle. Um, people don't realize how hard operating a cafe is. It's um, it's not exactly a high margin industry for me, but uh, you know, I would say the most challenging part is keeping it organized and the money. That's the two hard things. Those are the not so fun things, is the money and keeping it organized. It's very hard to keep this sort of environment organized. You're dealing with creative people, which only exacerbates the, <laughs> the equation, so. Awesome, that's it, thank you. No problem, man.